the 75th Battalion, KEF was an infantry battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force during the Great War. The 75th Battalion was authorized on July 10, 1915 and embarked for Great Britain on March 29, 1916. It disembarked in France on August 12, 1916, where it fought as part of the 11th Infantry Brigade, 4th Canadian Division in France and Flanders until the end of the war. The battalion was disbanded on September 15, 1920. The 75th Battalion was authorized on July 10, 1915. Recruitment was undertaken in Toronto, Hamilton, and London, Ontario and the unit was mobilized at Toronto. The 75th was formed by Lt. Col. Samuel G. Beckett, who had been trained as a cavalry officer in the 9th Mississauga Horse. Following training in Niagara and Toronto, the 75th left for overseas on March 29, 1916 and arrived on April 9, 1916. On arrival in England they formed part of the newly created 11th Brigade of the 4th Canadian Division and saw their first action in the trenches in Belgium in August 1916. Within the month, the 75th Battalion was at the Somme and fought with great distinction in the battles at the Regina and Desire Trenches. In December, the 75th had been moved to Vimy Ridge, immediately after taking part in the assault on the Regina Trench, where they, with the rest of the Canadian Army dug in, prepared for, and waited until the Great Assault on April 9, 1917. On the night of February 28 to 1 March 1917, the 75th, along with the 72nd, the 73rd, and the 54th Battalions were chosen to conduct a multi-battalion-sized raid on German positions at Hill 145 at Vimy Ridge in preparation for the larger assault five weeks later. A total of 1,700 personnel of all ranks participated in this large-scale raid, 491 participating from the 75th. The defensive position was manned by soldiers of the 261st Regiment Section Fisher in the center, on the left as the Canadians attacked, was the 16th Bavarian Infantry Division, and the 262nd Regiment Section Zollern on the right. All 75th Battalion troops were ready at their jumping-off point just behind the Snargate Trench by 0250 hours. Phosgene gas had been released by the Canadians prior to going over the top. The gas release had alerted the defenders that an attack was forthcoming, and the alarm was raised. German shells began a steady fire on the Canadian lines, some hitting canisters of chlorine gas that had been brought forward but not deployed. The battalion had to wait until the gas cleared before advancing. A second wave of gas released by the 12th Brigade rolled down no man's land right on top of the 75th, further delaying the assault. By this time the Germans were fully prepared, and waiting. After waiting for their own artillery barrage, they finally advanced at 0547 hours. The German defenses were too strong to breach, especially on the right of the battalion's attack, and the battalion had no choice but to retire to the comparative safety of their own lines. The raid was especially costly, as it claimed the life of the commanding officer, we'll call S.G. Beckett, his adjutant major, James Miles Langstaff, and a total of nine officers, 112 other ranks killed, missing or wounded. These losses so depleted the battalion that its participation in the multi-divisional assault of Vimy Ridge on April 9, 1917 was as a weakened battalion in the 11th Brigade. Behind the 87th Battalion, the 102nd Battalion, and the 11th Canadian Machine Gun Company. Elements of the 75th attacked in the first wave at 0530 hours in front of the Tottenham Trench on a particularly stubborn German sniping position. By 1,500 hours the area was reported clear with 40 prisoners captured. One member of the 75th Battalion was awarded the Victoria Cross. Medical Officer Captain Bellenden Hutchison was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions on September 2, 1918 at the Drocourt Quaint Line. The battalion was disbanded on September 15, 1920. The 75th Battalion, KEF is perpetuated by the Toronto Scottish Regiment. The 75th Battalion had three commanding officers. Thanks for watching.